Well, let's take a look at goats. I love looking at goats, ordinary, everyday goats. These, however, have been drafted into the battle against some of the most invasive, hard to kill plants in Michigan. Paula Tutman previewed the program for us a few weeks ago. I hope you remember that. That was an eventful day. And now uh, we're seeing some of the first results. Paula's live in Pontiac with more on how goes this mission, Paula? Hey there, actually, so uh, first of all, I'm on the other side of the goat, so things are going well. Uh, but I am in Oxford, Devin, and I, I wanna show you just this morning, you couldn't even see through to that house. That's how well these goats are doing. Just a few moments ago, I got an email and it says state announces 3.6 million in available grant funding to target invasive species to the DNR. This is huge news to this trail manager and this goat owner because they can actually apply for grant money that's available right now to continue this program. The goats were unloaded for their last full day on the Pollyann Trail in Oxford. And it didn't take long for them to get to work. Look at you. Dude. The truth of the matter is for two weeks they have been eating machines, wiping out a smorgasbord of invasive plant species. I'm amazed. I am delighted. They'll get done with this and there won't be anything left here. The goats from City Girl Farms in Pontiac have even gotten a bit of a rock star status. It's actually really surprising that they like can break down that much that fast. We had a private landowner out of West Bloomfield contact us about a Phragmite and poison ivy issue on a, at a new house she bought. Um, that we're going to start taking care of for a week. And then we're also working with a company in Detroit on some empty lots they have. We've been following this beta test since it started. The DNR had a real interest in seeing if indeed the goats would make a difference, desperate to find non-toxic ways to handle unwelcome plant life. You have to cut every single vine just to pull them out to, to get rid of them, to haul them out. It's a daunting task. It'd take a thousand hours just to do a small area because the vines are so intertwined on the trees. And they got it done in how much? Oh, they'll do it in a day. Turns out what they don't eat, they smash with their hooves and heavy bodies, destroying destructive plant life before it grows, blooms, and reseeds itself on the trail. When Chris Bennett from the DNR came out for a look this afternoon, she was utterly amazed. You know, we're, you know, really happy at the DNR to be partnering with you guys to, to show people. And, you know, I think this is a really good model for, you know, how, you know, you can move forward. You know, I would probably give this a B right now and only a B just because we haven't, we don't know what plants are growing back yet. And um, a little of that is up to Mother Nature to, you know, show us what she's got. But, you know, I, this is a fantastic project. And so here's how that grade goes to an A. In a couple of weeks, they want to see what comes back. If it's natural native species, then they know these goats have done their job. But again, just the prospect of $3.6 million in new money to fight non-invasive species in non-toxic ways, that just breaks today. That is huge, Devin. It's sure. I, I just love how old school it is. It's a lot better than Roundup, there's no doubt. And don't send people to do a goat's job, huh? <laughs> okay, yeah, I think you're right about that. <laughs> I love it. All right, Paula. Great update.